Hello YouTubers, Maskiela2 here. Uh, please go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. Today we're going to be teaching you how to team build um, using Synergy and other things like that. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So to be in the top 1000, you need a really good team with Synergy. Now, to find that team, um, you can actually search for it. So, we're just going to pick one of these spots that I have here. And we're going to just delete everything out of it. So, let's see. What kind of character do we want to start with? Um, We'll just do a uh, sand tag, because that's pretty popular. And uh, we'll start with a uh, Frolly Fury Broly. So, if you go under Show Details under Broly, you're going to see his character tags. Now, he has Sand and Frieza Force. Now, also, he gets a Saga from the movies boost as well. Um, so being Sand and Frieza Force though, that makes him pretty versatile. So you can kind of go any way. But if you go to his ability and you go to his Z ability, you're going to see he's Saga from the movies. So we probably want a team that kind of boosts around that. Because then it's going to get, your next one's going to get two boosts. It's going to get Saga from the movies plus whatever one they do. So to find a team that is based around Sagas from the movie, what you're going to do is you're going to hit filter. You can select, have everything selected, so wait, nothing's not gone. You're going to click in the search bar up at the top. You're going to start with the at symbol, and you're just going to search sagas from the movies. And you do that, it's going to pull up all the characters with that tag. Not every character will give you that boost, but at least it's going to give you all the ones with the tag. So you can pick any of these, and they're going to get the tag. So let's just look through. We're going to look for some of the best characters that we see. So Broly's one of the top characters. And you can see Broly also boost Broly. You can tell that by when you click on him, that Broly lights up. And then we might even pick Gogeta, but Gogeta doesn't light up. So maybe you don't want him because he's not boosting the rest of the team. And then Vegeta's the same way. Gogeta's the same way. Oh, and then Green Broly. He actually boosts the rest of the team. Korra, same way. Namekian, no. I'm going to go ahead and skip through because I pretty much know who does and doesn't. So Pycon does. Oops, didn't mean to pick him. This Broly does, but I don't really want just a Broly team. I'd like to pick another strong character that boosts Saga from the movies. But the only problem is, other than Broly, there's not really any of them that's going to give you that strong boost that you're wanting. So it kind of gives you a couple options to go with. So most of these characters, you can see are sand characters, but we're gonna ignore that for right now. And we're just gonna pick Korra, because he's really strong, and also boost uh, Green Cooler is their name. I just see Korra and say it like that, sorry. Um, so you can see we already have an ability boost just by this random team we just grabbed of 1130. Now, uh, you'll see not all my characters are five stars. Once you get the five stars, it's pretty awesome because they get a strike and blast attack bonus. Um, I really only went ham on two characters, and that was Gogeta and Vegito. Because I like Fusion Warrior, and I knew I had a good bench for that, but I'll talk more on that later. So now that we got 11.30, we want to add equipment. So when you add equipment, you just kind of want to pick the best ones you can. So 
So Fury Broly has our Z ability. He has our best ones. We don't want him to have our best ones. Just because... He's not going to be our most used fighter, being Fury Broly. Now this Broly will probably be our strongest fighter in this. So we're just going to give him our top three tiered stuff. This Broly in this team I'd say is also going to be a feature. So we're going to go ahead and give him some really good ones as well. And when I look for equipment, I'm looking for attack is what I want. Um, defense is nice, health is nice too, but I really want to make sure that they gain attack with it too. And you can check out these other ones. Huge strike attack buff, crit buff, and sky restore speed. And this one you'll see defense, blast attack, and more sky restore speed. And then we're just going to keep doing this. So I don't think I'm going to use green cooler that much. So we're going to go ahead and just give him some other casual equipment. Not the best, not the worst. Picon, we're definitely not going to be using. Um, and you can use these characters, I'm sure they do fine. But now Blue Cora cooler, he's one of the best in the game. So we really want to make sure that we're loading him up with some of our best equipment. And there we go, let's see what our ability bonus is. And 1500. That's a pretty solid ability bonus. I generally won't use a team that has less than 1300 as a rule of thumb. But let's go ahead and take a look at my Fusion Warrior team. Now I built and built around this team. So it's got a pretty high buff. Um, now Red Gogeta, I got lucky on, got him the five stars. Um, purple Gotenks, got lucky. Uh, Kid Green Kid Goku, got super lucky. And I'll show you what I mean. Like I got him the five stars. I just kept getting them. But you know who I didn't get? I didn't get one of this Vegeta. And I really want him. It won't show it on here, but at five stars he gets Blast attack and strike defense. Just like Kid Goku. They would have been a great combo. Would have loved to get him. And you can see I'd, I don't have a few characters there that I'd really like to have. But I only went ham on the ones I needed. So save your chrono crystals until you get an event that makes it worthwhile. But we're going to go ahead and go in this one. Because the ability, because they're also high in their stars 2100 2100 and i only went ham in two of those characters the rest was kind of luck maybe you got lucky and you have that yellow uh vegeta to five stars but we're going to show you the big benefit so on this team everything's either fusion warrior or sand tag so Gogeta has 22% for blast attack and defense. That means blast defense. Super Vegito has strike attack and strike defense. Super Gogeta has strike attack and strike defense. Vegito has strike 35%, 35%. That's a lot, by the way. And that's the free Vegito, Vegito that you can get from the Rising Battle. But he gives 35% to Fusion Warrior Strike and Blast Defense. And then a Vegito character also gains an additional 15% Strike Attack. And that's honestly the biggest factor that has me using him over Super Gogeta in a fight. If it, and if you look at some of my earlier videos, you'll see I used Super Gogeta. And that's because um, I couldn't rationalize using... Vegito. Like, sure, he has that killer ability that locks people in, but until 30 seconds of the fight was gone, um, he wasn't helping out that much. In fact, I didn't even have him on my bench because he wasn't even double boosting. But yeah, then we go to Go Tanks 22% strike and blast attack. 
and then Goku, Tag Saiyan, which is everybody in this Fusion Warrior team, except for Gotenks, because he's hybrid Saiyan, but the three main ones that I'm using, Blast Attack and Strike Defense. So each one of them gets two, maybe three buffs from each tag. And of course my main team is Vegito and Super Vegito. And I'll show you what I meant by that 15% bonus. So when you look at Vegito, he has better defensive stats than Super Gogeta. 82 and 81. But his attack stats, 109 and 109. Pretty weak. And he goes Super Vegeta, Super Gogeta, 124, 118 on his attack stats, so just blows him out of the water on those. And then the defense, Vegito has a pretty significant edge by four to three thousand at 77 and 78,000. Now, when you factor in that 15% strike bonus for Vegito, being at 109,000, just to do simple math, 15% of 100,000 is 15,000. So 109 plus 15, what is that? 124. So that puts him on par with strike attack as Vegito. But we didn't even use that 9,000 part, so really he's a little bit better. He's really gonna be more around, closer to 125. Now blast attack. Super Gogeta still has him in. But with Vegito's main ability and his defensive stats beating him, and it's kind of a no-brainer to go ahead and go with him. And plus, their critical and carry score is about the same, but plus, he heals for the first 30 timer counts after a combo's over, and his blasts and strike cards are five less, and after 30 seconds have passed, he gets another 30% to damage inflicted. Now I know what you're thinking. Super Gogeta has his buffs too, but it's only 10% to blast and strike. So that's what had me create this Fusion Warrior team. But you can see some of my others. Here's my um, up and coming uh, Frieza team slash lineage of evil, I guess, technically. I still don't have them all maxed out, but I plan to use this team. Here's my regen team. And my god Kai team. I would love, 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 love to make a, um, a hybrid team which I could make a hybrid team, but really without uh, Goten, it really doesn't make much sense to do it. He's just so, so strong. And also, see, I love Fusion Warrior, but guess who I didn't get? Goten, Super Saiyan 3. He would have been a great addition to my team. Because right now the teams I'm struggling with are those Fusion Warrior teams that have him in it. Because who's Vegito weak against? Super Vegito? Yellow. Um, but we'll stop the video there on team making. Um, if you liked it and thought it was educational, please subscribe. Uh, comment if you'd like to see any other tip building guides like this. Hope you have a great day.